One person has been killed and another injured in a shootout between Indonesian armed forces and the national police at a fuel hoarding site in Batam. This is the second incident in the area in the past few months. The incident was the second time in one month involving both camps trading fire in Batam after shots were exchanged and four soldiers were wounded following a raid on a fuel hoarding site. The head of the Vira Prathama military command overseeing Batam, Brigadier General Eko Margiono, says it began when two soldiers met two policemen at a fueling station. Later in the day, at least 30 members of the 134-strong Tua Sakti Infantry Battalion went to the local base of the police mobile brigade, Brimob, demanding an explanation. The soldiers caused unspecified damage at the Brimob site. Eko says an investigation of the soldiers who visited the Brimob base is ongoing. Jadinya kesalahpahaman anggota Batalion Infantry 134 Tua Sakti dan dengan anggota Brimob da Provinsi Kepulauan Riau. Pada saat mengisi bahan bakar, ketemulah dengan dua orang anggota Brimob Polda Kepulauan Riau. Sehingga pada saat pengisian bahan bakar tersebut terjadi saling lirik, saling pandang, ya, sehingga telah terjadi percekcokan kecil. Not long afterwards, shots were heard after dark on Wednesday. The shots were heard near Bremob headquarters shortly after reports surfaced that a number of weapons were missing from the infantry battalion's armory. The clash claimed the life of master soldier J.K. Marpuang and a civilian is also said to have been wounded. There were no details concerning the circumstances of Marpuang's death, but his body was taken to the Empung Fatima General Hospital. Sources say Marpuang was shot dead. The hospital remains under tight security guard by the Riau Island Military Police. The armed exchange lasted for some three hours. Police barracks and motorcycles have been damaged. Riau Island Deputy Governor Surya Raspantiono, a number of officials from the regional secretary and four local journalists were trapped inside the Bremont headquarters during the attack. The group was there trying to mediate between Echo and the head of the Bree mob there to broker peace between the two sides. The shots began to be heard after a press conference was held after the meeting.